Hi everyone and welcome to my new video. In this video I'm going to be talking about my new improvements that I did on my Flipper Zero homemade device. Uh, if you've watched some of my videos, I use my free time to do kind of clone version of the famous device now on the internet, Flipper Zero. Until now I've done RF features and I did some tests, so you can check those videos out. I did Wi-Fi features and I did some attacks here on my Wi-Fi network that I have um, in my home. And also I did RFID features. And in this video I'm going to show you uh, this improvement. So I did IR features and this device is able to listen to and pick and save IR signal. Uh, so for those of you who maybe don't know what um, an IR signal uh, means, uh, that is the you know, signal that is being used by a lot of uh, remotes uh, for controlling uh, the devices. Uh, most of the times uh, those devices are some home appliances, uh, TVs, climate, and, and a lot of uh, other things. And this device is able to listen to that signal, save it uh, on our phone into a local database that I did using SQLite. I'm going to be talking about the technologies that I used uh, after, after showing you how it works. And after that, we are going to be able to emulate that signal. I think that it seems interesting. So please, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe to my channel. It means a lot to me. So I'm, I'm going to continue working, experimenting and sharing with you everything that I'm going to do in my free time. So thank you for that. So let's get started. Firstly, I'm going to show you how it works. After that, I'm going to show you the components that I use and uh, I'm going to show you that the schematics that you need to follow. So I'm going to be talking about the, those wires and connections uh, that we've got. And also I'm going to show you the, the code that you need to, to, to grab and copy and, and upload to your ESP8266. And you will be able to do the same thing as I did here. So let's get started. So let's see how the project works. Firstly, we've got to install uh, the application that I published on Play Store. So it is called uh, Talk to ESP32. And we've got to open it after installing it. Now, after installing the application, we've got to go to our Bluetooth uh, settings and pair our phone with H HC06. Uh, that is the Bluetooth module that I used here. After that, we can go back to the application, go to the menu and click on this menu item, 8266 uh, IR cloner. So these are uh, the codes that are already here in the phone's memory. So let's test with some real signals and see how it works. So this is the IR uh, I'm not sure whether we can uh, see it, but this is the IR receiver. So I'm going to place it here. I I'm going to press a button on this remote. So I'm going to press, for example, line one button. And as you can uh, see, the LED blinks, uh, meaning that we have a signal. And if I press on the refresh data, and that's the signal that our device uh, detected. So these are the timings of the signal. So maybe in the future, I'm going to put a feature here that we are going to be able to name it, for example. But for now, we can use it like that. So basically, that's the... Uh, that's the function. We can detect the signal, store it in our phone, and after that, replay it. Before storing it, be before saving it in our phone, in our database, maybe it is a better idea to replay it and see whether the signal is good and whether it is able to trigger some of the appliances that we have at home. So let's test on some of the appliances that I have at home and see whether it works. So we are going to control some of the uh, devices that I have in front of me. So this is the IR transmitter. 
and I saved some codes. Actually, how it works, uh, it doesn't decode the, uh, the, the code, it doesn't decode the signal. So it saves just the timings of the signal. And we are going to be able to, you know, replay the same signal as the uh, IR receiver received previously. So this one is for my TV. So I'm going to press on the replay button. And as you can see, the TV went off. I'm going to press on the replay button again. And my TV should turn on, as you can see here. And now I'm going to press on this signal here and replay it. And it's for my sound system. As you can see, my sound system turns on. And if I replay the same signal, it turns off. And how I said before, it can, uh, you know, detect and replay any kind of IR signal. And here is the code that I wrote. I'm not going to go into a lot of details about the code because most of it is about communicating with the Bluetooth module. So just copy and paste the code uh, to your IDE and upload it uh, to the Wemos D1 mini board. If you don't have experience uploading a code uh, to Wemos D1 mini board, it is pretty easy. And there are plenty of tutorials out there on YouTube. Just search for it and learn how you can uh, upload a code uh, to Wemos D1 mini board and you will be able to do, to do the same thing as I did here. Uh, so let's uh, see the connections and uh, see the components that I used. So let's see the components that we have. So the brain of uh, this thing is the ESP8266 that is mounted in this Wemos D1 mini board. I like that board. And also we have an LED for uh, so for showing that the signal is sent and when the signal uh, is received. So this is the uh, IA receiver and it receives the signal. So this is the IA transmitter. We have HC06 Bluetooth module that we use to connect with our phone and transmit data. And we have uh, 2N uh, four twos NPN uh, transistor, and we have 470 uh, ohms uh, resistor. So let's see the connections that we have. Uh, let's start uh, with the Bluetooth module. It uses five volts. So let's see the the pins. So. The VCC is connected to the 5 volt, uh, volts of the Wemos D1 mini board. The ground is connected to the ground. The TX, uh, TX pin is connected to the RX pin of the Wemos D1 mini board. So this one. And when we upload a code uh, to the Wemos D1 mini board, we've got to disconnect. So that's the reason why I chose using mm, the wires uh, like this. And the RX pin of the Bluetooth module is connected to the TX pin of the, of the Wemos D1 mini board. So this is the receiver, how I said before. The receiver uses five volts. So the middle pin is the ground. Uh, the right pin from here is the five volt pin. And uh, these are the powering pins. And the left pin is connected uh, to, the, to the pin D5 on the Wemos D1 mini board. About the sender, about the transmitter, I used an NPN transistor to control the transmitter. Why? Because uh, the Wemos D1 mini board or the ESP8266 is not able to send that much current that the transmitter needs in order to properly uh, send the signal. And that's the reason why I chose using a transistor in order to control the transmitter. So let's see how the transmitter is connected. The anode of the transmitter, of the IR transmitter is connected to the 5 volt. 
and the cathode is connected to the meter of the uh, tr transistor and the base is connected through the uh, uh, resistor uh, to the D6 pin of the uh, microcontroller and uh, the collector is connected to the ground. These are the connections. And the LED, so uh, the cathode of the LED is connected to the ground and the anode is connected to the D1. I didn't use any resistor in order to uh, step down the voltage a little bit because I just blinked the LED and I'm pretty sure that it is not going to be blow up because uh, so I just shortly uh, turn on and off the LED il illustrating that a signal is received or the, a signal is sent. So that's basically it. That was everything that I've got. And I saw some interesting videos on YouTube uh, where people tested it on uh, street lights. I'm not advising you to test it because probably it is, so you are gonna maybe end up in jail, I don't know. Uh, but this thing is able to, to turn on and control uh, street lights if we've got the, the signal that, for example, the ambulance uses, it is gonna be in, able to control uh, street lights. I don't have those a smart street lights in my country, but as I saw in America, people have those uh, street lights where they're able to, to be controlled uh, by an ambulance in order to smoothly pass the street light. Uh, but uh, I'm not gonna test it and even if I'm able to test it, but I'm pretty sure that it is gonna be able to do it because uh, this thing here is able to receive and emulate any kind of IR signal. So I hope that it was interesting for you. If it was, please consider subscribing to my channel. It means a lot to me how I said before. So bye-bye.